All right, sup, sup everyone with more Mass Effect. And we can do Veromar now. We have dealt with all side quests, every single side quest, except Pinnacle Station. And yeah, let's go do Veromar. There's Pinnacle Station, but... Uh, well... I'm not gonna do, do Pinnacle Station, but I am gonna tell them what's in there. Well, Pinnacle Station is a station uh, built by a retired Alliance uh, Admiral. And he has set up a VR VR training ground in the station, where where a bunch of mercenaries and other warriors from the galaxy uh, come to train their skills, to hone their skills. And basically, you have to beat them all. And once you beat them all, the admiral will present you with a reward, which is basically a house, a safe house in a planet, in a nearby planet. And uh, in that safe house you can replenish your grenades, you can replenish your medigel, you can also order weapons and armor for your character. But that's basically it. It's basically just uh, it's VR missions against VR opponents. It's just something extra to do uh, once you're done with all once you're done with everything basically. And it's also it also presents a challenge. So yeah, if you want more challenge out of the game, go do the VR missions, because they are quite challenging. At least more challenging than the main game. But because of that reason, because it's not really a story driven, not that story driven of a DLC, I'm not gonna do it because... Uh, I, I generally don't even like Pentecost Station because, because of the VR missions. There's a lot of VR missions you have to do and you have to score the top points in each of any, every one of them. It's not hard, but it will take a long time and that's why I'm not gonna do it. Do it. So let's go to Vermeer. Centrio Mega System in the... Centrio Mega Cluster in the Hawk System. I'm not gonna scan the planets here because I don't need to, so I'm gonna go straight to Vermeer. I am gonna take Ashley Williams and Kirin Alenko with me. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. We'll meet you at the camp. Okay, so basically. So basically. What'll happen now? Oh, wait, I should give Ashley better assault rifle. Covalio looks pretty good. Is there anything else? No, I don't. No, I don't have anything else. Also, let's give give her ammo powers. Tungsten rounds. Yeah, yeah, okay. What about high explosive rounds? I'm not gonna use the sniper on her, so... Okay, get an Alenko. Yeah, you're you're fine. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. So let's move out. So now that we are at Vermeer, and if I can do Vermeer during this video, this one hour long video, um, there's a good chance that I'll be able to finish the finish this game, the entire game, in the next video. Yes, we are that we are that near the end. So 
great. I normally, when I play the... If I played a new game plus game, and I was at max level, I would skip these... Skip these... Geth... Geth mobs here. Because I'm only killing these for experience. And nothing else. And if I was a high... I, if I was level 60, I would just drive, ba drive past these, go straight to the AA towers, and take them out. And of course, killing Geth will will give also upgrades because they are synthetic monsters, and synthetic monsters will drop um, weapon upgrades and armor upgrades. Again, a level, so that's good. We are level 51. So I was right in my assessment at the beginning that I would probably reach reach level 50 before the end of the game. So th so yeah, I doubt we'll be reaching level 60. It would take two two playthroughs, two 100% playthroughs to probably reach level 60. And we're not gonna go for level 60, because I'm not gonna play this game twice in a row. But, if you're playing this game for the first time, um, you can get a benefit. You get a nice little benefit for Mass Effect 2, if you complete the game at level 60. Because the Mass Effect, when you import levels, level maximum level character to your Mass Effect game, and those experience, you will get your initial level in Mass Effect 2 will be higher. So that's great. There's a lot of rocket drones. A lot of rocket drones. Is there anything else there? Boom. What's in there? Are the turrets w w what are stuck or something? Well, let's go explore this place. Do I have tungsten rounds? I'm gonna equip my my separate with tungsten ammo. Nice. Quick save. Yeah, there are enemies. You know... Okay, decrypting does give experience. I wasn't sure about that. If decryption would have give, given me any experience, I wouldn't have even bothered. Because I don't need money, I don't need Omnichell, I don't need anything. experience the better the better my character ah All right lot of lot of materials can i jump down no i cannot that sucks all this running around. Well, regardless, regardless of time, I will complete this. I will complete this mission in one video. I don't care whether it takes longer than one hour. I'll do it. And in the next video, I will finish the game. Probably. Well, I still have to return to Citadel, so I guess. Well, it may might be two videos. I don't know. We'll have to see then. I'm not gonna prom. I'm not gonna promise anything because, you know, it wouldn't be fair. Kill everything here. Upgrades and experience. 
boom, 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 boom. You're next. Oh, you're not dead yet. Well, now you are. I'm gonna go kill those as well. You. Ah, crap. One more hit and my shields are gone. Boom. There's a couple of armatures here. I'll go wreck those as well. I need those upgrades. Oh, I cannot quick save. Well, hopefully I won't die. Or at least I hope that I don't die. There's a couple of two colossus as well, so I have to take them out. So the reason why are we are in this planet is because the uh, the council had some um, special task forces to to spy on this, to scout this planet, and that's and those task forces they found Saren space of operations. What did you know? So basically. We are here to check that out, and also help the special task forces. That's why we are here. Oh. One more hit and we are, we are wrecked. Okay, this might be a bit dangerous. Repair the Mako. Sucks that I sucks that I can't repair my shields. That's a bummer. The sniper shooting at me. I'm gonna fuck him up. There's a Colossus over there. I'm gonna take him out. Be careful with this. I have to play it safe because otherwise I'm gonna die. I have to ram this. I have absolutely no idea where I'm shooting. <laughs> no, 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 you're not getting up. No, 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 no. You know what, I have to... I have to bail because otherwise he's gonna kill my... Kill my... Meiko. I have so little HP. I probably can't even repair my Meiko. The full HP. Yeah. I didn't have enough elec electronics. Well, I can fuck him up now. But now that I have more HP. Boom, 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 boom. One more hit. Yes. Yay. Now let's go kill all them smaller enemies. Get out and take them on foot. Then we won't risk dying inside the Mako. So let's shut down the AA towers. Kill all the Geth here. And hopefully we can find the Salarian Special Task Force team. There they are, the controls. I'm the grid 
is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. <sighs> Nice. Ready to move out, Commander. All right, so let's get out. Frictionless materials. You know, I might as well equip those to my shotgun. Nice. I have a pistol as well, so I might as well put rounds for my pistol. Inferno rounds, scram rail. Yeah, let's put two scram rails. I'm gonna put combat optics here. As for rounds, tungsten rounds, fuck it. Okay, is there anything else that I can put? I have combat ex exoskeleton. Do I have a kinetic exoskeleton? Yes, I do. I have better shield in their face as well. Nice. Ah, oh, crap. I wanna make sure that my... My Shepard is at full... That's the Normandy. There should be a second AA tower. I'm gonna shoot in there, maybe we can kill a couple of enemies by accident. Yep, there's one. Didn't die though, one more hit should kill it. Nice. Okay. That's dead, there's one more. Well, I'm gonna take it out on foot. Hello, shock trooper. Ooh. The AA tower is here, so let's go. Shut it, shut it down. I'm gonna use Omni Shelter. That's the last one. We should be able to reach the Solarian camp. Nice. Better sniper rifle there. Wait, what did I replace? Oh, you have. I have a. Oh, lol. I had a better sniper rifle. The Spectre sniper rifle, but. I'm gonna give it to Caden. Here you go, Caden. Here you go, Caden. Actually, take back your. Old sniper. What? Where is it though? Nachinada X. Oh, there it is. This is better though. Use this. Alright, so let's move. Let's go to the Salarian camp. There's no more enemies that are away anymore. So. Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Okay, there seems to be some kind of a problem. We can't go straight into the uh, Saren space. There's the camps. Salarian camp. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. 
We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough. But a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. <laughs> That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Yeah, so now we have to convince... Convince Rex... The upcoming battle frightens me. ...that we are doing the right thing. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. You just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. Your request never came through. We'll just have to make do. That much is clear. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Armally Council license, nice. Armally Council should allow me to purchase uh, Omni tools and such. So let's go talk to Rex. Try to ease him up. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset. But we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. All right, you don't get this. You don't get this. Uh, you don't get this um, dialogue choice if you haven't completed sent the Rex's family quest. By getting the Rex's armor, Rex's family armor for him. If you haven't done that, then you basically have to persuade him with either intimidating or charming him. And it's a very hard speech check. So make sure you have enough charm or intimidate for that. But if you have done the Rex's family quest, you don't have to charm him at all. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were 
the jewels from the council once, to thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing, when we find Saren, I want his head. Nice. So we received 28 Paragon points for convincing him. You will receive 28 Renegade points for intimidating him to fall in line. So yeah. I could have still said to him that this isn't up for debate and Rex would have gotten pissed at, pissed at me and then I would have had to intimidate or charm him. But I did it the fast way and just picked the safe dialogue. So yeah, I'm gonna quick save here. And also, if you fail the charm or anything, you have to kill Rex. Rex will die, basically. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are gonna get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. I don't make a habit of placing my people under someone else's command. I understand, but this mission is too important for personal preferences to get in the way. He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. The Normandy's picking me out. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. 
I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Staren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Wet speech. Garrison Rex will be coming with me. Yeah. Because Garrus can... Garrus can open security locks, so that's why I want him to come with me. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to... Okay, so... Let's give you guys some bullets and rounds. Your mm, do I have anything? Kinetic coil X, yeah. As for sniper rifle, combat optics, tungsten rounds wouldn't be too bad for you here. You have a good omni tool, that's fine. Medical interface, do I have? Yeah, medical exoskeleton. Let's give you a shield in her face. As for you... Yeah, you can keep those. You can get another frictionless material here. Yeah, you can keep the incendiary ammo, that's okay. Mm, that's okay. Energized blading. Kinetic exoskeleton. Do I have better exoskeleton? Yes, I do. Okay, so now, yeah. We could definitely use the help. Rex use assault rifle, Garrus use sniper. So basically, we have a side quest now. Shadow is on Assisting Kirohe's team. So if we have a ways, if we have ways to assist Kirohe's team, we will do that. Because assisting Kirohe's team will make sure that they survive. Disrupt this. Get communication trish disrupted. This will help the the Kirahe team. Something scrambled the target. You got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Manavai.
Shooting that thing will disrupt the... Co will help the Salarian team. Satellite, like satellite uplink disrupted. Nice. Krogan warrior. Use warp. Uh, fucking Krogan. <laughs> Going over here, um, over here, there should be aircraft. Or where the hell are they? Yes, there they are. Destroying these aircrafts will make sure that the ki the Kirahe team will not be bothered with air support so this will help them as well get flyers destroyed so that should be every everything considering assisting the Kirahe's team for now so let's move on Krogan. Oh, there's more Krogan. You're gonna use... Fucking die. Okay, Rex, use shotgun. What shotgun, shotgun do you even have, Rex? Yeah, you have the Spectre shotgun. Okay. I guess that's okay. So that's that. Let's get inside the facility. Storage locker. Level up. Oh, I want to put points in here. Damping, damn it. I wouldn't hurt to put points in throw as well for Rex. Quick save. Heads up. We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Salarian teams to handle. If you didn't help the Salarians with disrupting all the communications and destroying the satellites, uh, if we clear out the guards. There's a chance that the guards will kill Kirahe and her and his group. But since we helped everybody, we since we helped them already, we can basically clear out the guards. But I'm not gonna do that. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Just for sure, I wanna make sure that they survive.
Huh? Is someone out there? Give a little ground, Lieutenant. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Ganto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I ended them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell. But then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. There's nothing left of them. No, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but to leave them like this. Hmm. Better to die than to live like this. <laughs> I've never agreed more, Shepard. It's what I would want. <laughs> so Saren's experiments have turned those into mindless creatures, basically. Mindless husks. Let's find more more salarians. Maybe we can Probably find salarians who are still sane. Maybe. Oops. I doubt it though. Though. Enemy is somewhere. There. Skill up. Now I'm ready. This is locked. I'm a little busy here. Nice. Quick save failed. That sucks. Okay, investigate. Sell. That guy's insane. What do you want? You are not insane. I told you everything. I. Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. <laughs> Private Maino Savata of the Third Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd have said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Can you help me, or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They've piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. <laughs> can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Let me out! <laughs> 
If we would have let let him out, he would have attacked us either way, so <laughs> it, it would be safer to leave him there. That guy was insane. Obviously. Husks, okay. This is to be the guy who created the cure. Oh, my weapon was jammed. What is going on? Where? No, stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. So you say. Okay, is there anything that we can loot? Well, there's medical station. I think we're good, Jim. I'm not gonna bother with medical stations because I know what you can get from them. Phoenix armor and what, and nothing else. Well, you can get medical as well, but yeah. I'm also reaching the item limit. So, okay, so I reached the item limit. Time for some omni gel reductions. Heavy armor Krogan, light armor human. That one, uh, those I'm gonna save. But I have to get rid of you. Medical exoskeleton I'm gonna save though. Well, fuck it. I'm also gonna turn all of these to omni gel. A lot of weapons. Yeah, everything. You know, I could give... Give something... Those extra stuff to you guys. And then I could put random upgrades in them, because that would at least give me some more room in my bags. You know. Nice. How good is the heavy armor? Oh, it's better than warlord armor. That's good. Nice. Same with you, Garrus. You can... I'm gonna give you random upgrades so I can get more room to my backs. There you go. Nice. That's that. And rest of the stuff I'm gonna convert into omni gel. There should be and transfer all or something. A way that you can select them all and then transform them. Or convert them into Omni Shell. Come on. All oh right, I have the Spectre Sniper Rifle here. Rex, you can have that instead of the Nachinado. Okay, this is this will be gone. This will be gone. This I'm gonna save. As for Shepard, you you are gone. Yeah, fine. Quick save. Now we have a lot of room in our backs. Again. Let's move over here. Find those AA towers and turn them off so Normandy can land with the nuke. Negative contact. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. 
Everyone in this place is trying to kill me. <laughs> Do I look like a soldier? I'm a neurospecialist, and this job isn't worth dying over. Or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I'd expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think... He's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Ah! You enjoyed that, Commander. <laughs> okay, let's go shut down the AA towers. Another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Beacon. Well, at least uh, this time Shepard didn't get knocked out. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. 
It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. Oops. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console's been disabled. Orders, command. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joker out. All right, so... Sovereign is not a, not just a ship, it's an actual reaper. The machine race responsible for wiping out the Protheans. So that's a, that's not a good thing. Because they will be coming for us next. And that's not, that's not really, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's not good. But let's, first things first, let's at least kill these, kill these Krogan and blow up this facility. Garrus, you can use Shredder ammo now. We are, we are starting to face more Krogan than Geth now, so I, I switched ammos. Shoot that guy. Garus, 
use that. Rex, use assault rifle. I kinda need someone with with poison. Okay, I'm gonna use the poison. Sledgehammer rounds. I do have to put frictionless materials here. Because poison will increase my my heat generation. Looks like this video will take a bit longer than one hour. So yeah. And I doubt that I'll be able to finish finish the game in the next video, so sorry about that. Giving you false false hope that I'm almost done with the done with Mass Effect 1. But you know... Yeah. Let's shoot you down. What the hell, I'm gonna put scram rail in here. Come on guys, help me out. Oh. He was poisoned and he still regenerates. No. Fucking die. God damn it. There you go. Not now, Shepard. Ah. Shoot them. Garrus almost died there. And turret controls. There goes the AA tower. Look out, they followed us up. Another overheat. Oh crap. Good work on the gun shadow team. Now it's our turn. Nice. Clear. That's it. We need to clear the gun and set those charges. Boom, boom, boom. Now we wait. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. 
We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. Alright, so let's go save Caden and the other Salarians. We are not done yet. To kill a bunch of Krogan. Uh, I wanna kill the... Gets first. Have some fun with you guys. Nice. and weapons. So now I have to choose which one to save. The other one is going to die. So I am going gonna save Caden Alenko because fuck Ashley Williams. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander. I, I you know it's the right choice, LT. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Ash. I think we both know that's not gonna happen, Commander. Yeah, I don't like Ashley Williams, so I just kill her off. <laughs> Deal with it. Usually when I play this quest, the guy and the squad mate that I want to kill, I will send Arm the nuke. Because this way I can save Captain Kirahe as well when I go to save Kaden and Lenko. So Kirahe will, sur Kirahe will survive as well. Let's switch, let's switch ammo power. Well, no. It's not. Commander, you need to move fast. We can't hold these things up much longer. No kidding. Watch the corners. Suppressing fire. Kill that, Garrus. Teskirahe. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. 
You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Hmm. Okay, let's kill a siren. Everybody, hang on! I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. 
How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Owenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Sarah. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images. Locations. Places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos. That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough. Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, 
You must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Alright. So, basically... It was a bit of a longer video, but... We did Vermar and now there's only... We have to get to Ilos. And we still have to return to the Citadel also. But... Uh, Um, it might be tight, but I could probably complete the entire game in the next video. But I'm not holding my breath. So, until then, see ya.